Hey guys, it's Troy here, back for another Mario Kart Wii video. This time we're going online. First time going online since summer 2016. And what's crazy is I only played once in summer 2016 and I uploaded it to YouTube. And so it's really been like a year and a half since I played online races in Mario Kart. This is a brand new license, which means that I have no friends and I have 5 KVR. So I thought a good idea would be to start a Road to 9999 VR series. And uh, this is gonna be episode one. We're gonna see how it goes. Gonna take it seriously at first, then, you know, as it goes on, I can't help myself. I'm gonna be picking stupid stuff like Piranha Prowler and Baby Booster. So yeah, I haven't even played some of these tracks, so I might really suck. But without further ado, here we go. Oh my gosh, I have not seen 5k VR on my license in a long time. And uh, yeah, this is a brand new license on uh, the Wii U. So, let's see if we can find some people. Got some three- What? I don't live in Africa. That is- That's pretty funny. Huh. Okay. Well, we got four right now. Hopefully more join. We'll see. What the heck? A 1v1? My first race is gonna be a 1v1? Okay, my first race in our Road to 9999 is a 1v1 against this pro Dolphin Dasher user named Player. And uh, Concord Town, you can't go wrong with Concord Town. I actually didn't pick it, I picked Figure 8 Circuit, but uh, I actually would rather play this, so it worked out. Oh, he's trying to snipe me. This is crazy, I haven't played an online race in so long, and then I get paired up in a 1v1. I wonder if this guy knows who I am. Um, it's funny because he probably, if he does, he probably thinks it's a fake because there's always fake uh, Troy users on uh, on online Mario Kart Wii, Mario Kart 8, even some Mario Kart 7, believe it or not, um, which is crazy. But yeah, unfortunately, I, I think like about 1 out of 10 times when people message me on social media and ask if they played me, it's it's actually me. Because they'll provide a picture and like the me will always have something wrong with it, like the facial skin tone will be off, or they'll use the wrong eyes or something, or they'll have the hair in the wrong direction. Um, and then the name obviously will be like slightly different than what the ones I use on my me. Um, so I could always spot it out. And plus, especially when I haven't played in a while and I get one of those uh, questions, I'm like, oh, sorry, man. It's been too long. I kind of feel bad right now. I'm kind of flooring this guy. But uh, he, he might be unlucky. He might have got like a thundercloud or something, you know? Oh. Okay. He's, he's still, uh, still putting up a fight. Respectable. He also might get the lower bridge, he might gain some time on me there. However, he is using the Dolphin Dasher, so I am already at quite the advantage. Because the Flame Runner is just a better <laughs> vehicle on almost every track than the Dolphin Dasher. The Dolphin Dasher, I think, has like acceleration, uh oh. Um, which doesn't even matter that much in Mario Kart because of the Sandstone Main Turbo. And it has a uh, off-road, obviously, but there ain't much off-road on this track. Whoa, that red shell. Pretty smart red shell, taking the shortcut like that. It's not even chasing me. Dude, what? Are you serious right now? If I lose this race, I swear. Okay. <laughs> oh, this game's crazy. First race and I already got something like, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I'm gonna try to find a uh, room with more people though. Wow, we go from a 1v1 to a full room, just like that. And it's funny, because if you don't set your location, apparently it shows you in the middle of nowhere near Africa. So, if you know how to change that, let me know, because my name appeared in Africa, and I'd like to change it to Cali, if if possible. That'd be cool. Oh man, repping the 5k VR. Time to take first place with 5k. Whoa. Sketch. Where do I go? This way. Okay. We got this, guys. No problemo. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't. No! Get away from me, dude. Oh, uh, that's golden. That was triple shrooms for some reason. My peripheral vision is deteriorating with my age. I'm an old man now, guys. 
This guy's got a fancy name. He's got crowns, he's got giant bull letters, balloons. He's repping that triple star in his name. He wants everybody to know how good he is. Me, on the other hand, all I'm repping is 5k VR. Oh, and my YouTube uh, name, which is something. See, that is why this game is awesome, because you can actually dodge reds by taking turns inside. That is, like, really cool, in my opinion. That was so lucky. This is weird. Okay. Oh, dude. The game wants me to win. It's blowing everybody except me. Dude, if those greens would have hit me, I would have been so sad. Alright, looks like we're going to get third here, unless things go terribly wrong. I'm going to play it safe. Did that guy just let me win? Wow. I think he did. I think he just gave me second place. How kind. He saw my VR and felt bad. <laughs> I think. We'll see. Nope. Never mind. Screw you. Look at that. Top three. Funky Kong Flame Runner. Still dominating the Mario Kart Wii meta. Nothing new. And I'm totally fine with that. I wish Funky Kong was the best character in every Nintendo video game. Yes, I didn't just say Mario Kart video game. Funky Kong should be in Zelda, he should be in Splatoon, he should be in uh, Pokemon. Like, imagine that, like, legendary Pokemon. You're at the very end of the game and then you encounter a Pokemon and you think it's gonna be like, you know, a Magikarp and it's Funky Kong. Imagine how hyped you would get. So yeah, Pokemon Company, if you're watching my video, you need to make that happen because Oh, dude, those ramps are terrible. I'm so bad at this game. All right. Maybe we're just, uh... Dude! Dude, I want that. Just got wrecked. Dude, these guys are mean to me. Like, I don't even care if it's five laps. Like, we're actually in the position to win this race right now. Like, if I had to bet money right now, I'd say there's, like, an 80% chance that I get first. Because... It's a strategy course. It's not about front running. It's not about lines. It's about who can break ahead of the pack when the other racers least expect it. And those guys in front right now, they think they're smart. But the reality is they're going to get blue like six times before this race ends. While me, I'm chilling in the back, waiting for the time to shine. And I'm not even kidding. You guys think I'm joking? But I'm not. Right now, I'm going to get in first, and I'm going to win. Because that's how this game works. It's all about finding the right time to jump ahead of everybody. Oh! Dude, he sniped me. Third. Okay. Alright. We're okay with third. <laughs> okay. I don't even know where to go. Like, what is this? Uh. Oh, is this that rabbit hole track? I think it is. Hang on. And... Yes! Okay, no, this track's fun. I've played it a couple times. I think it came out in 2016. Because uh, it definitely rings a couple conceptual bells. Oh! You know what's interesting? In this game, you don't technically always want to go for an box because the thundercloud. Like, I don't know if I like that or not, but it's definitely interesting, because in other Mario Kart games, you just go for the box. If you can get it, you go for it. But in Mario Kart Wii, if you're in that middle po that middle position, like, you don't necessarily want to wanna grab it, because you can risk a thundercloud, especially in a crucial um, part of the, the race, like midway through lap 3, it could definitely ruin your entire, entire race, because the thundercloud is so punishing. I love how the ghosts are the... The, the person, or the, the cat from, uh, what is it, Alice in Wonderland? I haven't seen that movie since I was a kid, but, uh, I, uh, think that's clever. Oh! How dare you! Where do I go? Where do I go? This way? Good thing I was still in Mega Mushroom there. That would have really, really killed me. Uh-oh. 
Now there is an off-road cut like right over here, but I definitely can't do it on small and I haven't practiced it ever, so I have no idea how to do it regularly. And then there's one also over here. You can like... Oh! I got it! Alright. Guys, I thought we'd be washed, but no. We are god tier right now. Oh! No! Oh! Do what? And I'll be back in this race. No! <laughs> what was that? What is going on? Where do I go? This way? I needed that. I so needed that. I'm so screwed now. Yeah. Where's the items? That was still some good uh, maneuvering by me. Like, straight up, I should not be this close to the front, despite... Oh! <laughs> what? Alright, we just got really unlucky that race. Everything went wrong that could go wrong, so... We got 8th. But, you know what's funny? I have such low VR that I'll probably end up getting, like, not that much. Dude, plus 46 for 8th? Oh man, I'm just gonna keep resetting my license and starting at 5k. Like, this is the dream. I don't want to pick favorites, so I'm picking random. I believe every track is created equally. I'm just kidding, I don't. Some of the tracks suck and other ones are amazing. Yeah, you see how like the red shells are horrible? This is how red shells should be. Like you shouldn't be able to throw a red shell from like 50 feet away and hit somebody like with ease, like in Mario Kart 8. I like how you actually have to be close range in order to um, have a good chance of hitting people. Like, it's, it's a lot better. Um, and plus you could dodge them, like you could take corners inside and stuff, and it feels like a lot more skill based with how um, you can avoid them. Like this guy, I might be able to get him. Maybe I'll get him with that one. Definitely gonna do the cut here. Ooh, nice. Wow, are we really in first with triple, triple mushrooms? Oh my gosh. I really want a blue shell to come. If this guy gets a red, I'm gonna be pissed. We haven't gotten first yet. That'd be cool if we can get a first place. It's looking very possible right now. However, I still don't really know what I'm doing, so lots of opportunity for me to screw it up. And yes, I know I just wasted two shrooms, but I feel like it's more important for me to break ahead. <sighs> come on. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so unlucky. Whatever. Everything's like going wrong and I'm still doing pretty well. So if things actually go right, I'm going to destroy people. Hashtag modest. I love how the people who create the custom tracks for Mario Kart Wii do such a good job of keeping them true to the originals. Oh yeah, that reminds me, there is nothing worse in this game than getting blue shelled and then pass the thundercloud. Like, that is the ultimate slap in the face. It's like, oh, you're winning, so we punish you in not one way, but two. So, if that guy would have caught me with the thundercloud, then I was disconnecting. Ugh. My reflexes are horrible now, I swear. Come on. Ooh. Literally, if, as long as you like, kind of know how to drive. <laughs> wow, these guys are vicious, man. They're not. They're not giving me any mercy. Any chance they have, they're hitting me. Ah, missed the last one. Um. Okay. All right. GBA Yoshi Desert. This custom track has gone through a lot of changes, and as far as I know, this this one's a lot less broken than the other one, which means it's less fun. But, uh, you know, I can respect it. The other one was pretty crazy. And, yeah, I, I've actually maybe raced on this one once or twice ever, so I don't really know what I'm doing. But I played the, the track in the GBA, and I played Mario Kart Wii, 
quite a bit. So, should be good, right? Until the treacherous blue shell takes it. What? Okay. Thank you, red shell, for sparing me. <laughs> what? Ooh, that's good. That guy passed me before I got the box. Big decision now. I, I feel like I hold on to this. And I feel like it's also the wrong decision. I'm gonna use it. Gotta go for the gold, right? No! Ah. Uh. Ooh, fourth, fourth. Okay, could have been worse. These races are insane though. Like, you put your guard down for one second because you think you're safe and you're not. Anything can happen in any second. Like even at the very end there, I like, I was like, okay, I'm good. But that green shell could have hit me on the line and I could have got like seventh. So you always gotta be on your toes. Like you have to press back button a lot. The reflexes required for this game are crazy.